Hello, welcome to another edition of Chatting With. Um, I'm here with my sister Jacqueline Hales. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you're you're a little. Uh, you've been a little sick lately. Yeah, I have. I'm sorry. I tried. No worries. Not to cough on this. <laughs> so, um, you're an actress. I am. <laughs> I am an actress. How long have you been trying to be an actress? Well, um, I've the first play or acting of any kind I ever did was at five years old, and I think I fell in love with it then. But I don't think I officially decided to be an actress for my career and for like my life uh, until... That means I would have been one years old or something? Yeah. Okay. Yes. It was Alice in Alice in Wonderland. I played the shrunken Alice. The, sh the shrunk? Yeah, like in the play Alice in Wonderland, there's like the girl who plays Alice, but then they like hire always like this little five-year-old uh, to play oh, the shrunken shrunk Alice. I don't the one think, who talks to the caterpillar. I don't think I've seen that. We have, do, we, do you have that on tape? Somewhere. Somewhere in the depths of our That was at Seacoast? Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, no, to, to follow up, though, like professionally, though, I guess I didn't officially go for it until 24. It was always just kind of like a, huh. a, a wish, kind of a pipe dream. But, I mean, obviously, I, I majored in, in theater performance, but it, even then it was still kind of like a... No, that would be fun. Where, where did you go to school? Utah Valley <laughs> University. You got your bachelor's? Uh -huh. In theater? Mm -hmm. Theater performance. Um, do you recommend going to theater school for uh, 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 aspiring actresses and actors? I recommend taking classes. Do you have to go to college to do that? No. I enjoyed my college experience. I don't regret it. And I graduated without debt, thank, thank goodness. Which yeah. for me is what made it worth it, but don't go into all kinds of debt just to be an actor. Just yeah, it's like it's not the type of um, occupation to go into debt for. Yeah. No, like you can, you could definitely hop out to LA and take some classes here if you want for a lot cheaper. Yeah, like like ground than a college education. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Have but you if you want to go to college just to get those extra electives and to keep learning in general, then yeah, you know, do the whole thing. You got up in Unicorn City. Mm -hmm. That <coughs> was, that, was my that first was, feature that was, film. That was kind of your debut in the feature films. Mm -hmm. Unicorn City, I got that at 22. And uh, uh, it was my first lead, first feature. Hmm. And th I would just remember that being the funnest time. And that's actually, I think, what kind of... The, was, I caught the bug, as they say. Like I, hmm. I had a taste of what that's like. And it, yeah, and, it, and I was just for 30 days straight, just like in heaven, like this is my dream, I've wanted this my whole life. Wow. And, um, so it kind of made you um, think more serious about pursuing Yeah, anything. it was just kind of like, I, I think I have to do this. I think this is the only way I'm gonna be satisfied. Yeah. And it's been true and, and I've stuck with it and it's been kind of a hard road because coming from Utah being a little bigger fish in a small pond, coming to LA being like a, like algae in the ocean, like <laughs> um, <laughs> I, uh, I finally, have paved a, a little pathway, I think. Yeah, yeah. Well, so what other gigs have you gotten since you've moved to L.A.? Well, a lot of the gigs I've gotten, I, ironically, have brought me back to, <laughs> to Utah. <laughs> because, because of the just one thing gets another thing, gets another thing. That's right. just how the industry is. So Unicorn City spawned like another four features. And then um, and then also that the Steven Soderbergh HBO gig, which I got from Utah as well, Mosaic, which should be coming out any time now. I mean, it's it, I shot that a year and a half ago, so oh, we're still kind of. I waiting, don't even remember that. Yeah, waiting that for that to come out. Wow, wow, wow. Soderbergh, he he did a uh, Up in the Air. He did Aaron Brockovich. He did um, all of the Magic Mike and Ocean's Eleven, Ocean's Twelve. Yeah. Ocean, and, um, wow. Um, so wait, you got crash, to meet you got you got to meet him and everything. <laughs> Yeah, he directed me in that in the episode. Are of you? Is it a is it a supporting actress role or what? Yeah, supporting. I, I I'm well. It's it's like a, I guess more of a co-star really because I'm just day playing. But it could go elsewhere. There's possibility to come back because of the format is going to be kind of a choose your own adventure book. It's going to be interactive. It's the first show of its kind. That's going to be kind of um, where the audience can choose wow. what path of the story they want to actually watch. Interesting. Um, it's going to be interesting. I think that's what's taking so long, why yeah. it's not out yet. But um, Is, is it an only an online thing? 
You don't know? I would imagine it has to be, but I don't <coughs> know. I bumped into Stephen at a party a couple months later mm -hmm. and was able to come up to him and be like, hey, like, that was, was such a great opportunity. Thanks again. He was like, yeah, I remember you. And then I, <laughs> <laughs> thank goodness. <laughs> yeah, I know. I remember you. Yeah, I think I remember you. <coughs> and, and she was like, or we started talking about the project and he explained a little bit more about it and he said it was taking a while because they have to figure out the platform. So what what's your latest uh, project that you just got done with? Extinct, th which is a, my first series regular role on a TV show hmm. that uh, my LA agents got me. However, once again, ironically <laughs> brought me back to Utah. Hmm. And a, a lot of people film in Utah because it's cheaper, right? It's yeah, uh, you can shoot a lot of different landscapes in Utah, which you'll see on the show. Mm -hmm. The show goes from the dead of winter to bright summer, and we hit up, and there's fall in there. Like, we almost have all the seasons in this show. And we go to Zion's National Park area. We, we're in Kanab, we're in St. George, we're in, we're in um, L.A. County. Hmm. A lot of it's shot on the lot, um, the LDS motion picture lot. Okay. So, and the, that's where a lot of the special effects happen. Yeah, it's, it's going to be. The design team is incredible. Some of the sets that they built for us are unbelievable. Hmm. It's going to be on BYU TV? It'll air on BYU TV first, come this October. Wow. Um, Orson Scott Card wrote it, Aaron Johnson wrote it, and um, I think that's one of its stronger points. It's got really good writing. You like the writing? I do. I think it's, it's good. good writing, especially since. They've maintained a very general audience mm -hmm. um, rating with it. Like, anyone could watch this. You can be comfortable watching the show with your mom, dad, grandma, whoever. Right. Family-friendly, if you will. I don't really like that word, but yeah. But it is. Yeah. But it's still <laughs> compelling. It still has all the exciting twists and turns as Good. Lost or, or Walking Dead or whatever. What's your favorite movie? Jurassic Park. Why? It's more nostalgic, and I just think it was groundbreaking for its time, and I love Steven Spielberg. <laughs> <laughs> the I, music's really good. The music's awesome. The dinosaurs are awesome. Yeah. The acting in Jurassic Park 1 alone is awesome. <laughs> right. Um, the rest can... It's almost, you know, Jurassic Park Red 1 box. is kind of like... Um, it's kind of like a, a drama more than it is even an action film. Yeah, yeah. Whereas the rest kind of turn into action films. Right. It's it, yeah. It's more Michael Crichton, more story. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's more story driven, and it, yeah. it has an interesting it's developed. More, it's arc. more intelligent. Yeah. Yeah. For exactly. sure. Exactly. Um, <coughs> the nerd in me really just dug it. I was just like, well, this yeah. is fascinating. No, we should I, all create dinosaurs <laughs> immediately. <laughs> right. It makes sense. With <laughs> Why the isn't there a Jurassic <laughs> Park out there? <laughs> Dino DNA. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I. I. Well. I. Yeah. I. Um. I'm always shocked when I hear someone says they haven't seen that movie. It's like an essential movie. You know. I don't know. I know. I know. I. I. Have you met anyone that hasn't seen it? I met. Someone recently who's only seen it once and it shocked me. Yeah. And I was like, I'm oh. whoa. <laughs> whoa. Yeah. Uh, who's your favorite actress? Oh, that's cliche, but I mean, Meryl Streep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Meryl Streep. Um, I just think the woman is great. She knows. I don't know. Is it, do you think uh, acting, it's like a mixture of talent and. Um, or inherent talent and work or or like all work or I think that yeah there's definitely an, like you either have it or you don't kind of element yeah you, but, e you, but even those who like have it yeah. also need to still hone and fine tune what it is they have yeah so yeah there's definitely a combo of talent and the willingness to sharpen your tool your craft what do you what do you do to sharpen your tool <laughs> <laughs> What do you what do you do to, what do you do to hone what do you do to hone your craft? <laughs> I'm so immature. Um, <laughs> what I do is um, well, I think by far the best thing I've done is just get on set and do it. Like this this la this last six months being on set and actually doing it is the best thing I've ever done to yeah, sharpen yeah. my craft. But if you're not as fortunate as that just yet. As an actor, I would say every day you have to do something to practice. Be it get in front of a camera and just film yourself doing scenes. We'll see how you do 
practice auditioning. It's just practice, just like any, just like a, a musician or an athlete. Mm -hmm. You just have to practice, and I think a lot of actors forget that. What a, uh, what do you do in your free time? Like, because there is so much free time for everyone in LA when they're not mm -hmm. on the job, you know, and they're trying to get the next gig. What do you? How do you fill up the time? Um, writing. I like to write a lot. Um, I like to hike and um, meditate and try and do a lot of self. Um, oops. Self improvement, um, things, reading for self improvement and all the like, but mm -hmm. hang out with people. Yeah, yeah. Um, visualize. Just, I think, try. Uh, the the biggest key is to not slip into a place of like boredom or stagnation. Yeah. You need to maintain a high level of forward thinking, like happiness, if you will, just kind of like... Activity. Act, yeah, like don't let yourself get bored. Yeah. Because that's when depression sets in. Have you ever wanted to do YouTube? Not really. I've yeah. toyed with wanting to do YouTube for the maybe money of it or the just like the easy goingness of it. Like, yeah, you like be it, your yeah. own boss. Right, yeah. But I just don't know that I am disciplined enough for that. I think I really thrive in a place where I've handed a script mm -hmm. and I have a director and, I, and there's a lighting crew and everyone's, yeah. and I just come to do my part. Right. That's where I thrive. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm kind of the opposite. I, I like to just hide out and do my own thing, you know. I don't like taking orders or anything, you know. And <clears throat> plus, I, I, yeah, I, I hardly, and acting is like, I don't know what it is. It just it really drains me. It's a lot of focus. You said that when you took a class in UVU that you, your acting class was your hardest class out yeah. of all of your classes. Yeah, it was really hard. I well, it's just yeah, and I got a B plus in it, but I I definitely like. It's great. I put like, yeah, I, I had to like memorize stuff for hours, and I, I just yeah, I can't. It's do a muscle. That. Memorization is not something that. Yeah. You either have or you don't. I feel like same with improv, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's like a, it's you just you exercise that particular part of your brain long enough, and you'll get better at it. Have you've done uh, you've done some improv stuff uh, with comedy sports. Yeah, before I moved out to LA, I was part of the Thrillionaires troupe in in Salt Lake or all of Utah mm -hmm. County ish area, and um, that was a a huge. I think growth period time for me because it just taught me to trust my instincts and hmm. and think on my feet and just kind of I guess be more confident as an artist in general. That's that's I think the one pro of taking an improv class or being part of improv in general. It's it's self trust. Hmm. Who's your favorite actor? Favorite actor. Oh man, um, hmm. I mean, there's a good old American classic, Tom Hanks, but oh yeah, there's also yeah, you yeah, you like him a lot, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I I think he's always done really strong work, but I have a lot. There's a lot, a long list of actors that I think are great, and a long list of actresses that I think are great. It's hard to pick a favorite, but yeah, but like Tom Hanks and Meryl Streep are two that I know. Like if they're in a movie, mm -hmm. I'll just go see it. Yeah. <laughs> like whether or not have they, I have, care they about done, them. have they done a movie before? No. Can you believe it? Yeah, that'd be fun. That would be very fun. <laughs> <laughs> but Larry Crown, though. <laughs> <laughs> I actually didn't see that. Oh, it's bad. Is it? <laughs> yeah. It's silly. Oh, they're like mopeds and stuff. I don't know. It's weird. Mm. But. Turner um, and Hooch. That's like one of my favorite Tom Hanks performances. Yeah. I just think it's so... It's a great dog movie. Raw, because who's a better acting partner than a partner that isn't acting? Yeah. Your dog. Yeah. <laughs> you literally get the most honest reactions, and you just play off it. I can't imagine how fun, how much fun that must have been. Do you have an agent now? Mm-hmm. How often do you go, out, go to auditions? I'd say my average right now is about one a week, which is not good, but hmm. it's... Uh, that's I've been away. So what, what's the fair. what's the worst audition you've ever been to? Oh. <laughs> I've had a few bad auditions. I've had a lot of bad auditions. 
Um, I would say, like, if you've seen La La Land, all of that's happened. Really? Yeah. You spilled coffee on yourself? <laughs> no, I just mean, like, <laughs> where, like, the casting director, like, couldn't care less that you're there. Yeah, yeah. So um, mean. Where, like, you walk in and they're like, she's a monster. Look how tall she is. Oh. All right, yeah, read. Go ahead and read. And then, like, oh. you just have to get it over with. You can kind of, like, read their face. That they've already, you can feel a already casting made director's their uh, energy for sure like when you walk in yeah, but yeah. I've also had the, other, the opposite where they're like sweet she's perfect and then I still can't get it right and then they're like dang it you would have been great oh man <laughs> uh, that's probably more painful do you ever like fight for it like I can do it again in a different way or whatever no I think I've always been kind of a pushover but like mm. where I'm just like right okay I'm out yeah but I think that's all changing now I mean that's Especially just from the show, just even having that as like a yeah. in my back pocket. Like I think auditions are going to be totally different now. Like yeah, gonna, you know, because it's like I don't need it. They're not going to smell that need off of me that I used to have. You have a, a little bit more indifference. Yeah, exactly. I can just walk in and be like, "This is what I can do." Cool. Take it or leave it. Hmm. Um, which will I think be a game changer? <laughs> <laughs> but, we'll see. Uh, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but probably one of the most awkward auditions it was actually one that was going very well I was supposed to play a it said on this thing um, who's Chris Pratt married to oh, what is uh, I name? forgot oh come on she's awesome she's so funny um, blonde Anna Ferris. oh play an Anna Ferris type mm -hmm. and I was like I'm not an Anna Ferris type I'm blonde that's about as Anna Ferris as I get so I did. I had like my nerves were gone because I knew like they weren't looking for my type. So I walked in and then I ended up killing it. They were they were laughing the whole time. It was super great. Wow! <laughs> and then as soon as we were done, I go. Oh, that well, that one doesn't matter. Okay. I only use like the beginning of that one. Well, as soon as I was done, I go. Um, or she goes. Uh, no, I'm sorry. So I finished the audition and then I go. Very nice. <laughs> like I complimented myself oh. and then she goes that was very nice and then like it was like all the laughter stopped because suddenly oh. I was like very nice like I like so it came out of my mouth right when we did, were done I was like very nice <laughs> <laughs> and then you didn't get a call back no oh no. dang it was going so well until I got you think it was because so, of that, though? No, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Probably not, but it was awkward. So, wait, you almost got Superwoman? You had a, you had a second callback? You, but there was, like, seven callbacks. Like, I didn't oh. make it that far. All right. I had three, thanks. But, yeah. Um, yes. Three. Wow. Yeah. Three callbacks. If you count the one that was on tape. Yeah. Oddly enough. But then they chose that one girl. Yeah. And it, I guess Which, that show's doing well, right? Yeah. I mean, whoever's supposed to get it gets it. Yeah. And I think clearly she's supposed to get it. Well, not all the time. There's bad casting all the time. What do you mean? Yeah, that's true. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be a good sport here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> but no, you had like dreams before there was even a Superwoman. Yes. I wanted to play Supergirl, Supergirl. before Supergirl was created or yeah. put out there for an audition. And you, like when the, you even heard that there was a Supergirl, yes, you I like, like, like kind of like, knew it, you were going to be it. This is my part. This yeah. is my part. This was created because I asked for it from the universe. Yeah. And the, then and then I got to go in the room, which most of my friends who were auditioning for this part didn't. Yeah. They had to just go on tape and they were done. And I got to go in the room. And so I was like, this is it. I'm going to get it. And then I got the call back and I was like, see, this is my part. It's happening. Wow. And then I didn't get it. And I yeah. bawled like a little baby. <laughs> <laughs> I was in the, my car by myself. Well, it's like, like, it's also, <laughs> it's not that, yeah, but it's also like all your like pseudoscience and superstitions. I know, all of my like, are just failing. Religion to you know? like, <laughs> <it's> like challenged. <laughs> right. Your faith in, in Everything like was the shook. universe. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I was Oh man, it didn't work. Huh. I even had a psychic tell me that you're gonna get it. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's fun. And I didn't. Man. Yeah. It was a it was a big like um big girl moment for me to like get up and you know, but first you don't succeed. Yeah. Dust yourself off and try again. 
Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. This was Jacqueline Hales. Please check out her IMDb, IM, IMDb page. Uh -huh. And uh, can they like vote anywhere, anything that helps <laughs> you? Or just clicking on it, giving it more views helps, yeah, right? Yeah, sure. Even just going to my page. Just it giving it, it more popular. Yeah, just, just clicking on it helps her search or helps it better and whatever and helps her just overall, I think, um, rating <laughs> yeah, somehow that works. in the SEO. I don't know. But yeah.